All right, so now starting to work on the rear slide. What I'm going to do first is uh, I got the everything stripped off of here, got the cover and everything off uh, over the engine. And I think I'm going to do the skin out this doghouse first inside here. Uh, then I'll move on to the slide out afterwards. Give me a little bit of a break from. <laughs> from skin and slide outs. Uh, not by much, but a little bit. Anyways, I'm going to do, uh, do that first, and I'll. Uh, this is a little bit different than what we have been doing, so I'll do a little bit more filming. Anyways, have to coat it first, and then I'll start uh, putting some aluminum skin in there. Alright, so here's where I got to yesterday. Got that piece uh, installed. This uh, kind of goes along with this doghouse cover that's here. Um, it's uh, that I made uh, I don't know quite a while ago. Anyways, this gets filled with with uh, spray foam insulation, and then there'll be another uh, aluminum cap that goes, or maybe it'll be just be plywood. I don't know. Anyways, uh, the the finish. We'll go on on top of here, and that'll be the, the inside of the <clears throat> the uh, inside of the bus. Uh, also, across the back, got that uh, that done in the doghouse. I'm just uh, got all the pieces cut, and I'm going to do down the sides here, both sides. Uh, I got a little bit more coating to do over there, and. Thing over there, so so what I'm going to do this afternoon. I have all the pieces made up. It's just a matter of putting them in and seam sealing in behind them and and uh, riveting them in place. So hopefully it shouldn't take too long, but we'll see. That, believe it or not, was uh, between that installing that and putting the uh, and cutting the pieces for the sides was a. Uh, 10 hour day yesterday, so <laughs> sometimes this stuff takes longer than you think it, do, it will. But it's coming along good. I'm this is uh, this is going together fairly nice. The only thing that's going to be a bit of a, a time consuming process is you can't really see it too much from here, but from this uh, here to up into the corner, there's a lot of finicky little uh, parts around the around the wheels. For the slide out, so that's going to take a little bit of uh, farting around to get uh, you know to get pieces fit in there nicely and everything. You've got a seal and and then uh, that's that goes all go on the inside here and then I'll spray foam that and then put the finished plywood or whatever I'm going to do here. I haven't figured all that out yet, but uh, uh, on the outside and I got to build those covers over top with all the cables and pulleys and whatnot. So. That will be in the first feature as well. Oh well, this is gonna work in here, but there's all the little pieces that had to be trimmed around all the wheels and whatnot, and they're just sitting in there now. This side, oh boy, that is tight. And over here, because I ran out of seam sealer again. So, we're just sitting in there for now. Get some more seam sealer tomorrow, and I'll be able to rivet them in. But that's fairly fair amount of trimming to get out all the fit in there. And up inside here, there's the aluminum skins all the way around there now. So when I get to spray foaming, that'll all get filled with insulation. I'm just gonna, right now, get started on building one more panel to go between those three pieces of tubing there all the way across here. Kind of separate this from the uh, the outside. 
up inside this panel here, or this area here. Oh. Up back in here is where I'm going to have the uh, radiator surge tank and uh, the um, power steering fill and the the uh, re or the oil filling the oil and the dipstick. Uh, you know, for checking the oil, all that kind of stuff would be in there. So, I don't want to separate that from the actual engine bay here. Anyways, that'll be next. Alright, so I'm just working on this cabinet here or box that will hose the uh, radiator overflow tank will be in here, that's what I was talking about earlier. Filler neck come out to about here somewhere with a rad cap on it just so it's fairly easy to fill. Uh, power steering fill, that'll be in here as well as the oil fill and the oil diptych. I don't think I need anything else in here, but uh, this is all just um, Pretty much just sitting in here right now. Of course, I ran out of seam sealer and I haven't got any more, so it's all just kind of sitting in there. I'm going to take this out. The tank I'm going to get for here is going to be a, a round. Well, not round. It's like a cylinder. So I'm going to cut a to cut a nine-inch hole in here and just have it protrude through here with the filler neck on it uh, up into here somewhere. Uh, so um, I don't, I'm not going to permanently in all this until I have the, the tank here and then I'll uh, mount that up in there and, and cut the hole for it so that's about as far as I'm going to go with that for now and uh, I'm going to go inside and start uh, putting the uh, building a, a lip to put a seal for the cover on the, uh, on the uh, doghouse cover so that's what I'm going to start doing here now Well, there's the doghouse all skinned in, the uh, cover back in place. All the aluminum skin all the way around, so it's all sealed up. Just have to insulate it. And then uh, Finish it once it's you know with whatever I'm going to finish it with oak uh, oak uh, trim or whatever it is that uh, however I end up doing that. So not a lot of work, but it's uh, coming along now. Next, I ran out of I'm still out of uh, seam sealer. It seems like I cleaned everybody in town out, <laughs> and um, the uh, coating that I'm putting on. I don't have any more of that either, so I'll get some more of that tomorrow, and then I'll start working on the skinning this last slide out here. So that's uh, my next little challenge. And there's a lot of it's gonna be a lot of farting around on this one because it's uh, you know it doesn't have a flat bottom; it's got this step in it. So not so many big pieces, but uh, a lot to, a lot of fitting. So. Anyways, we'll get started on that next. Alright, uh, another weekend here. Um, we're con continuing on in this uh, rear slide out. Got, uh, as I shown a little earlier, the all this doghouse pretty much done. So I'm moving on to uh, doing the, the actual slide out uh, seals and uh, skinning this slide out and all that. So, just uh, shot some coating on this uh, slider, the doghouse frame. Let that cure a little bit. And uh, I got some grind a few welds here in the corners uh, of my slide out here. I'm gonna grind these welds down a little bit just so when the uh, the uh, Piece goes in for the for the seal. It uh, 
bit's a little nicer, so I'll just take a couple of minutes and knock that down. Anyways, on we go. And I forgot that I got to do extend this row of rivets right here across that panel and rivet the other end and then knock this row of rivets out of here so I can put the the uh, seal mold or uh, you know the angle that I got for it tucks up underneath here when I can't get it up there with these rivets in there they're gonna have to come out so I gotta do that first plus I need uh, two rows of rivets here and the other end there up there I got to put uh, two rows of rivets up to the up to the top of the the curve there the rest of it's all done but anyways that's got to get done next all right so I don't know if I really filmed uh, this whole setup here once I got the the two slide outs a little bit of a floor in that one now and that's the floor height that the uh, that OSB there that's the floor height the finished floor height um, I don't know if I've probably haven't uh, videoed that since I kind of finished them up still working on the back slide out back here didn't really get anything done on this part of it yesterday I'll go out to outside and show you what I did do and what I'm doing now I don't know if I can rearrange the order on these things or not I guess I'll find out but so outside to outside here it's 13 foot 4 in, or sorry inside to inside it's 13 foot 4 inches like I said a minute ago that's the height of the finished floor here this piece of OSB here so when you walk up into the driver's compartment here there's going to be a 10 inch 10 inch step down to the driving height so there'll be a step right in here somewhere anyways that's what it looks like And I'm going to talk to my brother, the floor layer. <laughs> He's already got all the hardwood for me, but um, I'm going to see if it's feasible to uh, make this floor section. It would be about nine foot by seven foot. See if that's feasible to uh, be lift out and not look stupid. So that would allow me to access all these cables and wheels and pulleys and all that under here. So we'll see what he says about that. Even if I just put a, uh, really going to screw down molding over the seam or something. I don't know. He's the he's the flooring expert. So I'll uh, see what he has to say about that. It's what he does for a living. So. Anybody can figure it out, he should be able to. Anyways, continue on. So, as I was saying yesterday, I had to extend that row of rivets there. So, I got that done, got that all riveted into place. And you can just see the, the um, seal surface there. Or what it, the seal mounts to all the way along the top. Got that done. And uh, now today, hang on, I'm gonna climb down off this ladder without killing myself. Hopefully.
It's 88 degrees outside. We're keeping the door shut. Helps a lot. Fans on. Makes it bearable to work in here. I know everybody that's down in the southern states is going to say we're a bunch of wusses, but for around here it's pretty hot. Anyways, I wonder if I can get back far enough. Anyhow, this is what I'm doing here. Just putting the, uh, the edge trim on. A lot of miter cuts. Well, that's what I'm doing here right now. Once that's on and, and everything, then I can start uh, going ahead and, and uh, putting the skin on. But for now, i got to put this all the way around. And there's kind of what it's looking like on the inside. Anyways. That's where I'm at for now. Alright, so these are all done now on the along the bottom. All the way over to here. Uh, I've got them numbered because i got to take them back off again. And uh, seam seal in behind them. i got to pop them all back off again. And I just have the, the three big long ones here, both ends on the top. They should go pretty quick. I'll do them tomorrow. But I think I'm going to uh, call this it for this, uh, this video. Oh, one other thing I should mention is to get these moldings to fit up nice and snug, I had to bevel the edge of uh, all the aluminum. That's beveled, and that up there isn't, and then that allows it to to uh, slip in far enough to, kind of hard to see here, but it bottoms here, otherwise it won't go in far enough, and it just pops this away from the, uh, from the skin too far, so if I bevel it, it goes in nice and tight. Anyways, that's it for now, I guess I'll, uh, Upload this and start another one uh, tomorrow.